that's it for Central Australia. Been here a few months now. Mudgy and Blackie. Now it's time to hit the road and start the adventure. What we're doing here, play little Miss Black first. She's been on here before. She's going to show Big Brother Mungi the way. Coming on, girl. Okay. Got a special treat for her when she does. Mungi will be the tricky one. He hasn't been on here before, but I'm sure once we get going, he's going to be like a dog with his head out the window. There you go, we got them both on there now. Blackie's alright, Mungi's just getting his balance. Good. Pressing the little girl over here, a little bit nervous. But it'll be right once we start moving. Have a little chew there, big fella. There we go. Now that's a sign of calmness. He's having a bit of a feet out of the hand there now. Let him enjoy himself a bit. She loves it. Lassiter's country here. Just over here is the cave. About 1930 that Lassiter spent his last few days. Now this gum tree here, this would have been his last mate. Would have told the story this thing would have been here when he was here. Probably even collected firewood off it. But just over here is the cave. So this is it, the cave over here. So the story I got, and I met an old fella 
Oh, 20 years ago, out in the Western Deserts here, he told me it was his father that actually speared Lassiter. Now, he would have been sitting in here recovering. I reckon if you have a look here, well, you imagine if you were Lassiter, really hot time, you got the river over here, you're injured, what would you do? I reckon this rock here, yeah, you can imagine sitting here resting. I say this would have been Lassiter's spot during the heat of the day. He probably would have been just asleep here. Now, the reason he was here, he had camels. Lassiter found an old gold roof out here. Another story I got was told it was a place where you weren't allowed to go traditionally, okay, like known as a death site or something like that. It's not in this country is the word I get. Somewhere else out there, but Lassiter needed somewhere over the summer to come. So this was his spot. Rightio. So from here, his camels bolted. The man was stuck. He spent a long time here, and then with that one last desperate reach to get to the Algas, he perished not far, maybe 50k, 50 mile to the east of here in a place called Irvine Creek. Okay, now the legend of Lassiter, he found it in 1897, that reef, and 1930 he's coming back out to search for it. He found a couple of expeditions out here to find it. Very tricky out in that northern country up here. Now I did hear a place where it possibly was from an old traditional man out here 20 years ago. But I certainly won't be giving that secret away. Anyway, Lassiter, what a spot. So it would have been a pretty lonely spot here. Imagine a lane out here, especially in those days right out in the western desert. Got a nice view of the river there, probably scratched around for a bit of water out there. And just above us is a bit of a fig tree. But it's a pretty lonely spot for one fella. Not a bad view, but... the cave just over here and if you have a look you can see a tree growing out of the rocks up here that's the native fig okay so it's been over summer he had a bit of rain around here probably had that figured fruit which would have given him something to chew on out here in the river somewhere he probably scratched for water by digging there's often water underground if you know where to dig in the right spot in the river here but having his camels bolted he probably had gear with him okay but that would have diminished pretty quickly so, being injured in the cave, running out of food, he's attempted to make that rush to the Algas. Now, we're not far from the Western Australian border here. It's a fair distance to the Algas, and in desperation, he's taken off. Didn't make it, but perished in that Irvine Creek, and perishing out in this country, probably one of the worst ways he could go, ever. But the legend of Lassiter will always live on. with his camels running away probably what he was trying to do is let them out to feed they used to double obble them sometimes so they could just shuffle around but a camel could run like this now if he had been frustrated in a situation he might have come out the camels might have picked up on his vibe and bolted okay that's the only thing i can imagine what might have happened failing that there wasn't many wild camels getting around at that stage so there would have been a few out here so the chances of them chasing him off were a lot slimmer than they are these days. So my guess is he was sore, he was sick. He got a bit frustrated maybe and his camels are taken off from him. And he of course gets stuck there. So anyway, all right you mob, let's hit the road. Yeah, I'm going to